Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Paloma and I make fashion and lifestyle videos. As you can see from the title today, I'm going to be showing you guys what's in my diaper bag. I'm going to show you guys all the little essentials that I need in my bag. And for all you new mommies out there that don't really know what you need to pack in your baby bag or if you're a mom of two or three and you're just doing this all over again because it's been so many years, keep on watching so you can find out what I pack in my baby bag. Okay, so this is my baby bag right here. As you can see, it's so cute. It's gray. It has so many pockets. And it is from the company Kia Babies. It is right here, if you can see. That is their little logo. And Kia Babies is so cute. This bag was actually sent to me from Kia Babies. So thank you very much for sending me this bag. So many pockets. Like, I love it. I'm going to show you guys everything I have inside now. But I just wanted to go ahead and thank them for sending me this product. So first things first, I'm going to show you guys this right here this is a munchkin's diaper bag um yeah it's basically a diaper bag so i'm gonna see if i can take it out i haven't used this yet because we honestly don't really go out anywhere because of coronavirus but it looks like this and you can just hook it onto your bag and then it's just like disposable bag so you can go ahead and just pull it out let me see if i can do this okay right, so what you do as you can see i pulled out a bag and then you go ahead and rip it off and whenever you're out and you're changing your son your son or daughter's diaper you can just go ahead and put it in here and that's it and it smells so good so you just put it in here you close it up and you throw it away at your nearest trash or you can just take it with you in your car if there's not no trash around and this is so helpful because you know babies diapers do stink and you don't want to have a stinky diaper and like especially throwing it away like at a restaurant or bathroom or wherever you are so yeah definitely need these in your diaper bag so i have this net in my bag and i have the donut car seat stroller if you guys haven't heard of it yet it's so freaking amazing guys like i literally recommend you guys to purchase it if you guys don't know what stroller to buy it's a little bit on the pricier side but it's so like amazing like you like i don't even know how to explain it that's how amazing it is like you need that stroller guys because it's so easy you just stroll it or whenever you want to turn it into a car seat you turn it into a car seat and it's just amazing guys so i do recommend you guys getting the donut duna or donut i'm really not sure how you pronounce it but this is just a net um so we put it on the car seat when we need to use it um if we're gonna be around too many people or anything like that because you know with the coronavirus and everything like that I don't want my son catching anything so we got this little net so he can breathe but then he can also be protected in a way so this is always in here that way if we just want to pull it out we can just pull it out and use it and then in the front pocket right here let's see what I have so in the front pocket right here I have these wipes right here and these are wipes to wipe pacifiers so if his pacifier fell or we don't have like the cap for the bottle or anything like that we can just clean it off with this and this sanitize it and it's really good it's alcohol free no harsh chemicals and it's perfect for on the go so this is perfect um, we, we do use it we don't use it as often because his pacifier is always near him but I feel like this is a must-have in your diaper bag we also have in here um, honest diaper rash cream we just have this in the bag just because you know if we're changing his diaper and he has like a little rash or like it's a little red down there you can go ahead and use this we haven't used this yet because honestly the diaper bag is just so big and we've only ever been to his doctor's appointment we really haven't taken the baby out yet because he's only one month old he just turned the month yesterday so yeah we have this in the bag just in case and then we also have this pacifier an extra pacifier and this little case um i got this off amazon i'll go ahead and like everything down below just in case if you guys are interested in purchasing anything that i show you guys it'll be down below for you guys so this is a little pacifier holder with a pacifier so we have an extra one of these just in case he loses it or anything happens and then we have hand sanitizer so you obviously need hand sanitizer especially with everything happening now get yourself a bottle of hand sanitizer for your baby bag and just have some extra ones at your house so whenever you need to replace it so that is the front of the bag it is really big as you can see super big at the front and there's so many space in this bag i love it on this side of the bag i have in here some lactation cookies and if you guys haven't seen my previous video my postpartum essentials this was one of the must-haves these are lactation cookies and these are so good because i am breastfeeding i put these in there as a snack if i'm feeling hungry or anything I, just, I could just munch on these if we're out and i don't have anything to eat and they also produce milk so these are very helpful and why not just have a good snack in your baby bag because you do get hungry as a mom and you know you're always like attending your baby and stuff so treat yourself sometimes 
So this is the front of the bag. And then in the back, there's a little pocket right here, as you can see. So once I open the back, you can, everything from the inside, like you can get it from the outside, if that makes sense. So everything that's in here from this pocket, you can get it from the back. So I'm gonna be opening the top of the bag. So right here has a little clip, just in case if you wanna hold the bag like this, or wear it like a backpack, you can. So then once I open it up, where is that open? Okay. So once I open it up, in here I have diapers. So I have a bunch of diapers in here. You obviously need diapers because you're gonna be changing your baby's diaper a lot because when they're newborns, they tend to pee and poop a lot. So you're gonna need a lot of diapers just in case for any explosions or anything like that. So make sure to pack diapers. And then the bag, my diaper bag actually comes with a changing pad. So this is what the changing pad looks like. Super cute, it matches with the bag. And this is so helpful because you have the luxury to be able to change your baby's diaper anywhere. If you're at the park, if you're at the beach, if you're at a restaurant, anywhere, and just put this anywhere and then change the baby's diaper. So this is definitely a must have. The next thing I have in my diaper bag is this little bib. So this is just in case when we feed him, um, I do pump and then I also do breastfeed. I do, so I breastfeed my son and then I also do give him formula from time to time. So this is very helpful. So when I'm feeding him, he doesn't get dirty or get anything on his neck rolls because he does have neck rolls. He's such a little fat boy. I'll put in a picture of him right here so you guys can see what he looks like. But yeah, this is definitely a must in your diaper bag because you just want to keep your baby nice and clean when he's eating. Then I have this little blanket. This is like a little swaddle blanket. And this is just very helpful because right now it's summertime. You don't want to have any thick blankets or anything like that. So this is just a cute little blanket. Um, it gets bigger. So we could put this over like his car seat or just put it on top of him if he's feeling a little cold or if we're in like a restaurant or anything like that. This is definitely a must have because you just want to be secure. You just never really know. So sometimes it's good to like overpack your diaper bag than just like not pack it enough. So yeah, that's definitely a must have in there. And then we have some more diapers. So then I have an extra outfit for him. You definitely need an extra outfit for your baby because they poop and sometimes the poop just goes on their clothes or whatever the case may be. So you just wanna have that or they throw up. So yeah, we just have a onesie right here and then some pants. That's just an extra outfit. Doesn't matter what it looks like. If he gets dirty, we have extra clothes. So just put it on him and ready to go. And then I have just some socks because it is hot, like I said, and we don't usually put socks on him all the time. So just in case if it is cold and I feel his feet are cold, I can just put some socks on him. And then of course, we have some wipes right here. So we use the pamper sensitive wipes and we obviously need these because how else are we gonna wipe their booties? But yeah, these are definitely a must. And even like if you're out and you're touching something sticky or anything like that, you can also use these for yourself. And I also have a six year old. So just in case he likes to eat things when we're out, if his hands are dirty, he can use these. But these are definitely a must for the baby's butt. And then I also have this birth cloth right here. So my son has recently been throwing up lately because he's like feeding a lot because he's big. He's a big boy. He's literally, he's 22 inches and like 22 and a half inches. We just went to his one month appointment today. So he is a big boy. So he's been throwing up a lot because he likes to eat a lot. So this is definitely helpful. You put it over you right here and then you burp him and if he ends up throwing up, he doesn't damage any of your clothes or anything like that. So yeah, definitely have one of these in there or two or three just in case he ends up dirtying them. But like I said, we don't go out much. So I just have like one of everything. And then I have his bottle. You need this bottle. This bottle is so amazing, guys. I love this bottle. But yeah, we have this um, Komotomo bottle and it's the five ounce one. So this is just the bottle we have. If I do end up pumping, I'll put it in here and I'll take it to go. Or usually this would be filled with um, some filtered water for babies. And then we would put in his formula and shake it up and feed it to him. So this is definitely a bottle that we need in there. And then on the other side, we have this right here. I'm not sure what this is called, but in here, let me see if I can open it. So as you can see, it has three different sections. So right now he's only feeding four ounces. So I could put two scoops in each one and then take it with me to go. And then whenever he's hungry, I could just bring out the bottle, open this up and pour it in there. 
so it makes it easier instead of taking like the whole can of Infamil, which we are feeding him from time to time. So this is definitely a must have if you're not breastfeeding and you're just feeding baby formula because it's just gonna be so much easier than you having to scoop it out every time you have to feed baby. So this is definitely a must have for your baby bag. All right, so that is everything that I had in my diaper bag. As you can tell, it wasn't much, but it is the essential stuff that you actually need for the baby. You don't need to pack your bag too much. You also don't want it to be too heavy because you're gonna be around with a newborn and stuff like that. So this was my Kia baby's diaper bag and everything that I had in it. I wanted to also let you guys know that I am hosting a giveaway with Kia babies. We're doing a collaboration. So one of you mommies out there or daddies can win a free baby bag. They have three, they, I think they have like four or five different colors, but this is the bag that you'll be winning. Look at how nice this bag is. You can wear it as a backpack or you could just lug it around and hold it like this. There's so many space. There's space on the side, on both sides, on the back, inside. There's so much space. Let me just show you guys. There's so much space inside. So yeah, we're gonna be hosting a giveaway for you guys. All you have to do to win a free baby bag is subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications and like this video. Also, go ahead and follow Kia Babies on their Instagram and go ahead and join their Facebook group. Once you completed all those steps, all you have to do is comment down below that you are subscribed or that you have finished all these steps and then we'll go ahead and choose the giveaway winner within a week. So stay tuned to see who the giveaway winner is. Also, if you don't get to win the giveaway, then I do have a discount code with them and I believe it is for 20% off. I'll double check that, but I'll put the information down below. My discount code name would be Kia Paloma 10. So go ahead and check out their website. I'll go ahead and put all their information down below like I have mentioned before. So thank you guys for watching this video and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.